O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According, according to your Lord, judgment, give, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you deserted me? Why do you seem so far away when I need you to save me? Why do you seem so far away that you can't hear my groans? My God, I cry out in the daytime, but you don't answer. I cry out at night, but you don't let me sleep. But you rule from your throne as the Holy One. You are the God Israel praises. Our people have long ago put their trust in you. They trusted in you and you saved them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and you didn't let them down. Everyone treats me like a worm and not a man. They hate me and look down on me. All those who see me laugh at me. They shout at me and make fun of me. They shake their heads at me. They say, he trusts in the Lord, let the Lord help him. If the Lord is pleased with him, let him save him. But you brought me out of my mother's body. You made me trust in you even when I was at my mother's breast. From the time I was born, you took good care of me. Ever since I came out of my mother's body, you have been my God. Don't be far away from me. Trouble is near and there is no one to help me. Many enemies are all around me. They are like strong bulls from the land of Bashan. They are like roaring lions that tear to pieces what they kill. Their open mouths are wide to attack me. My strength is like water that is poured out on the ground. I feel as if my bones aren't connected. My heart has turned to wax. It has melted away inside me. My mouth is dried up like a piece of broken pottery. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You bring me down to the edge of the grave. 
a group of sinful people has closed in on me. They're all around me like a pack of dogs. They have pierced my hands and my feet. Everyone can see all my bones right through my skin. People stare at me. They laugh when I suffer. They divide up my clothes among them. They cast lots for what I am wearing. Lord, don't be so far away from me. You give me strength. Come quickly to help me. Save me from being killed by the sword. Save the only life I have. Save me from the power of those dogs. Save me from the mouths of those lions. Save me from the horns of those wild oxen. I will announce your name to my people. I will praise you among those who are gathered to worship you. You who have respect for the Lord, praise him. All you people of Jacob, honour him. All you people of Israel, worship him. He has not forgotten the one who is hurting. He has not turned away from his suffering. He has not turned his face away from him. He has listened to his cry for help. Because of what you have done, I will praise you in the whole community of those who worship you. In front of those who respect you, I will keep my promises. Those who are poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May their hearts be filled with new hope. People from one end of the earth to the other will remember and turn to the Lord. The people of all the nations will bow down in front of him. The Lord is king. He rules over the nations. All rich people of the earth will feast and worship God. All who go down to the grave will kneel in front of him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive will kneel. Those who are not yet born will serve him. Those who are born later will be told about the Lord. And they will tell the people who have not yet been born, the Lord has done what is right. Psalm 126 Our enemies took us away from Zion, but when the Lord brought us home, it seemed like a dream to us. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues sang with joy. Then the people of other nations said, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Lord, bless us with great success again, as rain makes streams flow in the Negev desert. Those who cry as they plant their crops will sing with joy when they gather them in. Those who go out weeping as they carry seeds to plant will come back singing with joy. They will bring the new crop back with them. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Exodus chapter 10 then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh. I've made him stubborn. I've also made his officials stubborn so I can perform my signs among them. Then you will be able to tell your children and grandchildren how hard I was on the Egyptians. You can tell them I performed my signs among the people of Egypt and all of you will know that I am the Lord. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh. They said to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, says, How long will you refuse to obey me? Let my people go, then they will be able to worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will bring locusts into your country tomorrow. They will cover the ground so it can't be seen. They will eat what little you have left after the hail. That includes every tree growing in your fields. They will fill your houses. They will be in the homes of all your officials and your people. 
Your parents and your people before them have never seen anything like it as long as they have lived. Then Moses turned round and left Pharaoh. Pharaoh's officials said to him, How long will this man be a trap for us? Let the people go. Then they'll be able to worship the Lord their God. After everything that's happened, don't you realise that Egypt is destroyed? Moses and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh. Go worship the Lord your God, he said. But tell me, who will be going? Moses answered, Where go with our young people and old people? Where go with our sons and daughters? Where take our flocks and herds? We're supposed to hold a feast to honour the Lord. Pharaoh said, Suppose I ever let you go along with your women and children then the Lord really will be with all of you. Clearly you're planning to do something bad. No, I've only allowed the men to go and worship the Lord. After all, that's what you've been asking for. Then Pharaoh drove Moses and Aaron out of his sight. The Lord said to Moses, Reach out your hand over Egypt so locusts cover the land. They will eat up everything growing in the fields. They will eat up everything left by the hail. So Moses reached out his walking stick over Egypt. Then the Lord made an east wind blow across the land. It blew all that day and all that night. By morning the wind had brought the locusts. Large numbers of them came down in every part of Egypt. There had never been a plague of locusts like it before, and there never will be one like it again. The locusts covered the ground until it was black. They ate up everything left after the hail. They ate up everything growing in the fields. They ate up the fruit on the trees. There was nothing green left on any tree or plant in the whole land of Egypt. Pharaoh quickly sent for Moses and Aaron. He said, I have sinned against the Lord your God. I've also sinned against you. Now forgive my sin one more time. Pray to the Lord your God to take this deadly plague away from me. After Moses left Pharaoh, he prayed to the Lord. The Lord changed the wind to a very strong west wind. It picked up the locusts. It blew them into the Red Sea. Not even one locust was left anywhere in Egypt. But the Lord made Pharaoh stubborn, so Pharaoh wouldn't let the people of Israel go. The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, Reach out your hand towards the sky so that darkness spreads over Egypt. It will be so dark that people can feel it. So Moses reached out his hand towards the sky. Then complete darkness covered Egypt for three days. No one could see anything else or go anywhere for three days. But all the people of Israel had light where they lived. Then Pharaoh sent for Moses. He said, Go, worship the Lord. Even your women and children can go with you. Just leave your flocks and herds behind. But Moses said, You must allow us to take our animals. We need to offer them as sacrifices and burnt offerings to the Lord our God. Our livestock must also go with us. We have to use some of them to worship the Lord our God. We can't leave even one animal behind. Until we get there, we won't know what we're supposed to use to worship the Lord. But the Lord God made Pharaoh stubborn, so he wouldn't let the people go. Pharaoh said to Moses, Get out of my sight. Make sure you don't come back to see me again. If you do, you will die. I'll do just as you say, Moses replied. I will never come to see you again. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The second reading is from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 to 16. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. 
don't forget to welcome outsiders. By doing that, some people have welcomed angels without knowing it. Keep on remembering those in prison. Do this as if you were together with them in prison. And remember those who are treated badly, as if you yourselves were suffering. All of you should honour marriage. You should keep the marriage bed pure. God will judge the person who commits adultery. He will judge everyone who commits sexual sins. Don't be controlled by love for money. Be happy with what you have. God has said, I will never leave you. I will never desert you. So we can say boldly, the Lord helps me. I am not afraid. What can mere humans do to me? Remember your leaders. They spoke God's word to you. Think about the results of their way of life. Copy their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Don't let all kinds of strange teachings lead you astray. It's good that God's grace makes your heart strong. Don't try to grow strong by eating foods that the, Lord re that the law requires. They have no value for the people who eat them. The priests who are Levites worship at the holy tent, but we have an altar that they have no right to eat from. The high priest carries the blood of animals into the most holy room. He brings their blood as a sin offering, but the bodies are burned outside the camp. Jesus also suffered outside the city gate. He suffered to make the people holy by spilling his own blood. So let us go to him outside the camp. Let us be willing to suffer the shame he suffered. Here we do not have a city that lasts, but we are looking for the city that is going to come. So let us never stop offering to God our praise through Jesus. Let us talk openly about our faith in him. Then our words will be like an offering to God. Don't forget to do good. Don't forget to share with others. God is pleased with those kinds of offerings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. <clears throat> o my, my God, God in, in you I trust. trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift, lift up, up my, my soul. soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in, in you, you I trust. trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, you, O Lord, Lord I, I lift up my soul. soul. O, o my God, God in you I trust. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen.
as we come to our intercessions. Let's take a moment where we are to give thanks for the day ahead, for the things we will do, for the people we will meet. Let us offer this day to the Lord. Father, I thank you that the night has passed and the day is before us. And this morning, looking outside, standing at the front door, seeing no one walking to school, no one walking to the shops, no cars passing me. Father, we realise that we, like the Egyptians, are locked in our houses, in our rooms. For them, it was three days in the darkness. But Lord, for us, the light may shine, but common sense prevails, we pray. We thank you today for the people who will act on our behalf, for the people who will care medically for our loved ones, yes. for the people who will deliver food to those stuck indoors, to the people who will bring us text us, email us and say, how are you doing? And Father, I thank you that everyone out there needs someone and you call us to be that someone. So touch us, fill us, hallow this day in a special way, not as a Sabbath, but as a day when the work of the Lord may be seen and done by us. Yes. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our uh, prayer. And Lord, as we pray for the world, we pray for those parts of the world that have recently been plagued by locusts. Not quite on the scale of the Exodus reading, but nevertheless, they have wreaked havoc. Father, we pray for those communities that they would be able to recover to find food, to store food. That you would be with all of those today, wherever they are in the world, who suffer hunger and don't know where their next meal will come from. Lord, we've experienced some inconvenience recently in not being able to find in the shops the things that we want but we never really go hungry. Be with those who, who are hungry today. Mm. Feed them, nourish them, protect them, comfort them. Yes. And Lord, may we learn to share, to share the resources of this world, to learn from our own greed from the greed that we've seen just recently in our own shops and in our own communities. May we feel the aftermath and be changed yes. and learn to be generous with what we have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the church as Holy Week is almost upon us, as the palms will be waved, maybe homemade palms made of newspapers, 
I see, Lord, even knitted palms are on the menu now. And Father, as we come to Holy Week as our hosannas ring wherever we are, as they ring from here as we break bread and we keep the feast, as we enter into Holy Week, we pray for the church and its witness. Mm -hmm. From dancing vicars to newspaper palms, from learned words to things that make you gasp. Father, the church is full of brave and scared, wise and foolish, but Lord, we are your people. We are a wonderful bunch. We have everything in our midst, in our gathering, in our family. Just like our earthly family, Father, there are some we look at and shake our heads and others whose company we crave. But Lord, we are one. Help this message to be shown to the world. Yes, Lord. And may we be one with it. Mm. Not to please them, not to win converts, but to be what you have called us to be. Yes, Lord. To stand with the poor, the weak, the foolish, the marginalised, the broken and the needy. For Father, this is the calling of your church. And as our Hebrews reading says, Lord, you're for us, there's no one, there's nothing can stand against us. Yes. Take your church into the world and make it a voice for change. Shine in the darkness of people's hearts and lives and help us to make Christ known. Yes, Lord. And we pray for the churches in our town, for those who lead it, those who, Father, attend, those who treasure the buildings but don't know the person that it speaks of. Father, where we are in our towns, our villages, our cities, may we make Christ known through the living church. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you call us to shine in the darkness of this world and to take your love and life to all people. Help us to love our neighbour as we love ourselves to care for them as we care for our families, to treat them as we treat our friends. We live in difficult times. You have promised to always be with us and to provide. Help us to live in this promise for us and for those around us, we pray. Amen. Amen. And those observant may notice it says not the collect. This is the post-communion for today and I thought it was so fitting. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters we do also for you. Give us the will to be the servant of others as you were the servant of all and gave up your life and died for us, but are alive and reign now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Well, here we are. Um, you can't see much of me today, I'm afraid. The window's smaller, but that's life. Um, just want to say thank you for being part. Thank you for supporting what we're doing in so many ways that you are. Be blessed. Have a great day. And, uh, well, we'll see you a bit later on, I'd imagine. You take care. Bless you. Thanks for, thanks for coming. See you very, very soon.